everybody here some examples of um, proving quadrilaterals are parallelograms uh, given that they have characteristics of parallelograms this is going to help us solve for variables if you look at number one we use the fact that opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent we can set 2x minus 2 equal to 12 okay then we will add 2 to both sides and then divide by 2 x is 7 for um, the other pair of opposite sides 2y equal to 8 we'll divide both sides by 2 for y equal to 4 Okay, number two, um, we'll use a couple of facts. The fact that opposite angles are congruent, if it is in fact a parallelogram, we'll set 55 equal to 11x, and we will divide both sides by 11. x comes out to be 5. Okay, we'll also use the fact that consecutive angles in a parallelogram are supplementary. We'll take 5y plus 55 and we'll set it equal to 180. We'll subtract 55 from both sides. 180 minus 55 is 125. We'll divide both sides by 5. Y is 25. Okay, number 3, kind of the same situation. Uh, opposite angles congruent. Take 5Y, set it equal to 25. Y equals 5 by dividing both sides by 5 there. Um, consecutive angles will be, if it is in fact a parallelogram, y up to 180. 5y plus 5x equals 180. Uh, but I have two different variables here. I'll use my y equals 5. 25 plus 5x equals 180. And subtract 25 from both sides. 180 minus 25 is 155. And then we'll divide both sides by 5. 155 divided by 5 is, in fact, 31. All right, number 4. Um, we have a diagonal here, and we do want to point out that if it is a parallelogram, opposite sides are parallel, then what we have here is alternate interior angles, the 45 degrees and the 9x degrees. Alternate interior angles are congruent if parallel lines are cut by a diagonal, so we can set 9x equal to 45. We'll divide both sides by 9 and then x equals 5. Okay, um, also the for solving for y, we'll set 18 equal to 6y for opposite sides congruent. We will divide both sides by 6, and y equals 3. For number 5, um, again this diagonal, opposite, we have alternate interior angles, so we can set 2x equal to 30, and they should be congruent. 2x equals 30, divide by 2 on both sides, x is then 15, and then the x plus y angle and the 24 angle, those should be congruent. x plus y equals 24. Uh, we have two variables here, but I already know one of them, 15 is for x, so we'll have x 15 plus y equals 24. We'll subtract uh, both sides by 15, y then is 9. Alright, and lastly, number six here. Um, if this is in fact a parallelogram, we have the case where these consecutive angles are congruent. If that's the case, they have to be 90. And one of the rules is if one angle of a parallelogram is 90, all four of them are. So we can simply set 6y equal to 90 and solve for y. Divide both sides by 6. 90 divided by 6 is 15. So there's y. And then 3x, we're going to set that equal to 90. Divide both sides by 3, x is 30.